Hello, fellows from Middle-earth. I am Gandalf the Grey, and I welcome you to another Tolkienpedia. Please subscribe to get more content from me and my Middle-earth friends and foes. Today I will introduce you to Iluvatar. Eru, the One, also called Iluvatar, is the supreme god of Middle-earth. Eru is omniscient, omnipotent, exists out of time, and is the owner of the imperishable flame, which means he is the only one in all Arda that can give life. I will stop for a brief clarification. Eru and Iluvatar are the same, and mean in Elvish, he that is alone, or the father of all. Arda means Middle-earth in Elvish. Iluvatar, as the supreme god, created the Ainur from his thought to make him company. The Ainur are sub-gods, and more importantly, my kin. Yes, you heard it right. I am also a god. Iluvatar commanded the Ainur to play music and showed them a vision of Arda. He gave the Ainur the task of the creation of it and let them prepare it for the arrival of his children, the firstborn or Quendi, also called elves, that were wise, beautiful, and immortal, and the followers, the humans, that were similar in thought to Iluvatar and were given the gift of mortality that only Iluvatar understands. Iluvatar sent the secret fire to burn at the heart of the world and air. The Middle Earth was created. Some of the Ainur descended to Middle Earth at the beginning and they were called Valar and Maya. I did not go and stayed, enjoying paradise, at least until the Third Age. I would also like to stop shortly to say some words about evil. The greatest of all Ainur was Melkor, later known as Morgoth. That in the end turned out to be the first Dark Lord before Sauron meaning that Iluvatar allows evil to be part of the world, and also considered it as a part of him, as Melko is the Ainur most similar to him. While creating the Earth, one of the Valar was extremely impatient, and created beings that emulated the children of Iluvatar. This Valar was Aule. He just created the dwarves, as Iluvatar is the only one that can really give life, after seeing what Aule had done, and seeing how humble he was, Iluvatar allowed the existence of those beings, but only after his first children's arrival. In the same way, another female Valar, or Valier, Yavanna, worried about what the children of Iluvatar might do to her creations, namely the forests, asked Eru to have some sort of guardians in the forests, and Iluvatar created the shepherds of the trees, or so-called Ents, or tree herders. Thus the creation of the world was complete, and like many other gods, he preferred to stay away from issues that happened in Arda as much as he could. During the Second Age, after seeing how the Numenorians, an important race of humans, poisoned by Sauron, tried to attack the god's land of Valinor to remove the gift of death that Iluvatar gave to them, Eru intervened and destroyed Numenor, the island that was once a gift to the humans. He also shaped the Middle Earth round it to make it impossible to find Valinor the land of gods. Finally, during the Third Age, it is possible that Iluvatar revived me as a white wizard to finish my job in the War of the Ring. 
This, my dear fellows, concludes the history of our god, the one, Eru or Iluvita as I know it, for even the very wise cannot see all ends. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe to hear more stories from me and my Middle-earth friends and foes.